Hello, my name is Rara Lay, and welcome back once again for another episode of What's Been Happening Lately with Lay T. For the past week, many stories have been flying around about Senator Dino Malay of Nigeria, about what his whereabouts exactly were, and if he had been abducted. Well, Senator Dino Malay has finally spoken out, and what he told a media outlet that happened will definitely shock you. According to Senator Dino Malay, who was driving on the Abuja Lokoja Highway, he was approached by multiple cars that essentially ran him off the road. As if that wasn't terrifying enough, men jumped out of the car and immediately started shooting at the vehicle. Fortunately for Senator Dino Malay, it was a bulletproof car. However, this frustrated the assailants and they decided that the best next idea would be to burn the car. So the assailants attempted to start looking for tires that they would use to light up and burn the car. While this was happening, Senator Dino Malay used quick thinking and immediately jumped out of his car, according to him, and ran into the local forest that was aside the highway. As he ran through the forest, he was able to climb up a tree where he stayed for 11 hours hours according to him. He noticed the assailants walking down below him. However, he didn't feel safe until 11 hours to come down to the treetop when he was absolutely sure that the assailants were gone and were not camping out. Talk about crazy and bizarre. NBA player J.R. Smith is currently being investigated for both stealing and destroying another person's property. Well, it all went down when a fan approached J.R. Smith for a picture as he was on his way to dinner. However, J.R. Smith was just not in the mood. And instead of the fan to say, hey, I'm gonna go, they decided to still take the picture anyway. Allegedly, this infuriated J.R. Smith so much so that he grabbed the person's phone and threw it nearby in a local construction site. Well, it seems like the fan is no longer a fan because they are not too happy about it and there may be a lawsuit coming soon. All right, so I have to ask you guys. Do you think that this is just a part of his job and as a celebrity he should know that people are going to always want to take pictures? Or do you think that the fan should have just left him alone when he said he didn't want to take pictures? Sound off in the comments and let me know. A 32 week pregnant woman got the shock of her life after visiting a local McDonald's. After ordering a latte at McDonald's, Sarah Douglas realized that something just wasn't right after taking a sip of what should have been her latte, but instead she was in for a crazy surprise. When she returned back to the McDonald's and asked why her drink essentially did not taste anything like a latte and had a very distinct and weird taste to it, she was informed that the staff had accidentally left the cleaning fluid connected to the machine that usually milk comes out of. According to a branch representative, apparently every single day they clean the machines, but usually after the machines are cleaned out, they make sure to connect it to the milk machine. In Sarah Douglas's situation, this was not the case. It seems like McDonald's might have a lawsuit coming to them very soon because I don't think it's normal for anyone to be drinking cleaning detergent, but certainly not a pregnant woman. What would you guys do if you guys ended up drinking cleaning detergent that should have been a latte from McDonald's? After a very abrupt and sudden wedding, it seems as if Stevie J and Faith Evans are still going super strong, despite the ongoing concerns of their very close family that they failed to invite to their wedding. Well, Stevie J and Faith Evans just went a step further in proving their love to each other by getting matching tattoos that read the Jordans. Check out the tattoos here and let me know what you think. Seems like they're trying to make this as permanent as possible. With challenges flying all over social media, it's kind of hard to keep up. Well, apparently there's a new challenge that many teens have been participating in called the Hot Water Challenge. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory, hot water. So what exactly do they do with this hot water? Unfortunately, the people participating in this challenge think it's an amazing idea to pour hot water on a sleeping individual and essentially record their reaction. Unfortunately for Kylan Clarks, his friends poured hot water all over him while he was sleeping. 
Kylan Clarks woke up to looking at his body and seeing that his skin was falling off. Kylan Clarks was immediately transported to the hospital and suffers from second degree burns. Listen, if you're thinking of doing this challenge, I urge you and sincerely and deeply advocate for you, don't do it. This is completely unsafe and it is never a great idea to pour scalding hot water on anyone. You will be burned and you will be severely hurt. Besides being a legend on the basketball court, LeBron James is also doing amazing things off the court. LeBron James recently opened the I Promise School in Akron, Ohio, where essentially he's giving all of the students free tuition to the school, free uniforms, free breakfast, lunch, and snacks, a free bicycle and helmet, and every student that graduates from the school will have guaranteed tuition money to the University of Akron in Ohio. This is only a few things amongst the amazing, amazing opportunities that he will be providing to all the students there. From aviation cleaner to airline captain, that's exactly what Muhammad Abu Bakr is on his way to doing. After working as an aviation aircraft cleaner for 24 years, Muhammad Abu Bakr is on his way to becoming a captain. Muhammad Abu Bakr, who is also Nigerian, just earned his fourth bar towards becoming a captain with Osman Airlines. You guys, I'm just gonna drop this video here because this video that is coming up is certainly my mood for the rest of 2018. So when the next person is Puck nosing a little bit or just asking too many questions, you gotta let them know. Mind your business, mind your business. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave the singing for the next girl because clearly that is not my forte. Mind your business, All of my business belongs to Mind your business. Mind your business. Mind your business. Tell the Mind your business. Tell the coworkers tomorrow. Mind your business. Of course, I couldn't leave this topic untouched because right now on social media, the ladies are going crazy. So if you don't know what I'm talking, which I'm sure many of you guys already do, Mario recently posted an ad essentially advertising whitening charcoal for your teeth. Well, it seems as if people are a little distracted by a different package he might have been advertising. I'm just gonna put the picture on the screen and let you guys see what I mean. Because it certainly seems as if he was advertising a whole different type of package because nobody was paying attention to that charcoal whitening. <laughs> Wrapping up this episode of what's been happening lately with Leyti, President Buhari of Nigeria took to social media to let his citizens know that he would be going on vacation for 10 days in London. He hasn't posted any agenda of any type of sorts, but he has let the citizens know that Vice President Osim Banjo will be standing in for him as he enjoys his vacation in London. <sighs> I gotta ask the citizens of Nigeria and also the Africans in the diaspora, what are your thoughts on this? Well, this has been another week of what's happening lately with Leite. As always, I'm your host, Rara Lay. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you connect with us on social media at the Rara Lay blog. That's T H E R A R O blog. As well, if you want to connect with me personally, of course, my social media handle on Instagram is Rarolay. On Twitter, it's the Rarolay. And of course, on Facebook, you can also find me as Rarolay. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Rarolay. And sound off in the comments and give me some thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know what else you guys want to know when it has to do with entertainment. Because you know we got you covered on Rarolay.com. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out.